Supercar Blondie here in Germany. I've got something really special to show you. This car right here, do you know what this is? This has like a cult following. It was produced in the 70s and this particular version was dubbed the Batmobile because it came with a cool like body kit that actually wasn't legally sold here in Germany. So what they did is when you bought this car, this did not come off the production line with the wing attached. They actually put it in the boot of the car and you had to get the wing out yourself after you purchased the car and attach it yourself. They only produced 167 of these cars. This could go for around half a million dollars. This is like the production version. You could drive this on the road around in the 70s. That's when it came out. Then what they did is they had a race car version of the CSL. I know the BMW fans watching this are just going crazy right now. Can you what it was like? When this came out, people were just like, holy hell, over 200 horsepower. Looks pretty cool. I think we're done here because we've got two other cars that I want to show you that I know especially for the BMW fans will definitely definitely want to see so follow me. The bigger the wing the faster you go right? get to see that do you on any car no that was the first that's the first time right that's that's the first and i guess uh, bmw never built this one again never done again no i in mean in fact this wasn't meant as a serial production car it was a research car so the bmw research ah. center they build it trying to work out what would be cool. how it's going to look and yeah. if it's going to work and then it uh, got so much attention and the board of management they liked it so much yeah. they said okay let's do a limited production yeah and they did eight thousand units of it why have we not seen doors like disappear into the body again? That's so cool. It's quite not that comfortable to step uh. into the car. <laughs> but uh, honestly, I, like the idea I would of a disappearing always, door. I would just like, I'm, pr I'm, I'm comfortable with being uncomfortable stepping into the car. Right. Comfort is not the priority it is here. Also it's cool. Allowed, it's it is cool allowed factor. to drive this car with doors down. Really? Yeah, it's got the registration. It's got the homologation that you can oh, drive with doors down. Cool. You're not gonna like bang your car door against another car do car either in the parking lot. There's exactly. none of that that you have to worry about. I don't know about you guys, but I just love little cool little features like that. Where else do you get to see it? You ready to see what's behind these doors? Come with me. Ta-da! All right, I'm gonna talk you through both of these cars. Let's just start here really quickly. I know a lot of you will know exactly what this car is, but for those of you who don't know, this is like the racing version of the CSL production car that we just saw, like the Batmobile. This car did super, super well in the 70s when it was racing. Like it won so many European championships, also won it in its class at Le Mans in 73. And basically people could buy a road car that looked pretty much exactly like the race car that was winning all of these championships. Usually I don't cover these kind of cars on my channel, right? So this is where we get to the kind of supercar blondie version car. Basically it pays homage to the racing version of the CSL. So this sticker here, it says Bavarian Motor Works, right? When they entered the US racing scene, they actually just had BMW on their racing cars, right? And when they asked Americans, well, what does BMW stand for? They all kind of guessed that it stood for British Motor Works. And they're like, hmm, this is kind of a problem. This isn't working for us at all. So what they had to do is make it very, very clear that it didn't stand for British Motor Works in the American market. So they actually wrote Bavarian Motor Works. This is a touch from the future. Not a mirror at all, a camera, which we've come to expect with kind of concept cars, haven't we? If they have a side mirror, like a classic side mirror, we're like, Pah, what is that? Okay. Here we go, here we go. Let's have a look at what we've got. Mm -hmm. Now, you won't see this steering wheel in a racing car in the 70s. Look at this. Look how tiny it is. And this is really cool. This kind of like, draw, this it draws you in 
all the way down here to your little screen here at the front. And then you've got this big screen here all the way across the front dash. They've got the picture of the track here, Laguna Seca track, because in 75 they won. And that was the first year that they actually took the CSL over into the US market to race. This fire extinguisher here would push the extinguishing component straight through into the engine in front of you and you just do that with the switch here and this one here is the power kill switch so you've got those kind of racing elements to the car as well you've got the helmets here in the back all right and i think everyone just wants to hear what it sounds like right because we do the exhaust is on that side ready 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 Rev a concept car, I've never said that before. Well, I'm strapping myself in to a concept car because <laughs> we're actually going to do a little flying start. I'm with Christian who is going to um, strap up because he fears for his safety. <laughs> and um, we're just going to do a little, little flooring session in a concept car. Why not? This is pretty cool. This is a concept car with 500 horsepower. everyone this is the head of design at BMW it is so nice to finally meet with you and chat to you about yeah, really. your babies you we're always talking just to our marketing <laughs> <so far. laughs> now you're in the spotlight so this is your moment and we've got to talk about this car behind us right now because you were you were heavily involved in the design of this car right yeah at that time I was head of the exterior design right time, I think 2015 and now you're the head of design yeah exactly right at the top. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about some of the design features that you've chosen on the car. Obviously this is an homage to the racing car of the 70s. The bits and pieces that you chose to reflect that, obviously the wing at the back, right? The, the body kit here at the front. Exactly. Is there anything else that you definitely wanted to, to bring from that car into this car? 
I mean, design process, you know, doesn't work really like this because there are like designers and yeah. they, everybody who loves BMW also in the design team, they know this car. Yeah. And this is like a interpretation of it because I think what is really important is mm. to bring like heritage to the present. Right. You know, because just heritage alone doesn't worth anything. But to make this car really iconic and BMW M, you have somehow to transfer it to modernity. Mod modern day, exactly, yeah. Exactly, modern day. And so, it's something, you know, there were different things. Like This is really cool, how this kind of is woven into the hood. It's woven in the hood, yeah. because normally on a, on a sports car, on a mm. race car, you would just have added body kit mm. to make it wider, right. you know, like race cars. Right. But of course, as we want also to talk, because this was presented on the uh, Concorso di Eleganza, and then of course you want to talk also about aesthetic, because today you have different possibilities right. in, in in working with materials and so this is like an interpretation of just a brutal race car yeah. in a very uh, sleek, light, way. sleek way. And then here on the back obviously you've got this wing and what I absolutely love is the tail light here joins in to the spoiler. That is cool. How did you come up with that? I8 yeah? Yeah. I8 has exactly That's true. this floating uh, tail light yeah. because you should see really the aerodynamic design in the shape yeah. and we wanted somehow to show the link between our heritage and our most progressive sports car you know and this is somehow all melted together cool. and then to see how because design and everything what is like emotional and mm. you talk every day about cars and yeah. everybody loves it because of emotions and yeah. you have to somehow to create emotions and I mean this is just something what makes a very strong graphic in the back and BMW is just known by this four round headlights right. which was a very characterful graphic but of course you have to transfer it to today and this is also very characterful it doesn't matter if it's like this or double round it has just to have a very strong character yeah yeah yeah. BMW. yeah I mean if you're sitting at, in the traffic light and you saw this in front of you you're like damn what is that I've never seen this before exactly. this is crazy exactly this is what you should feel yeah you, you should know. feel exactly. something when you look at a car exactly. right exactly. yeah and uh, just to go over to this side obviously because this is this is what we found today is one of the coolest things <coughs> is that it has a real engine in it as a concept car, which is crazy. This sounds amazing. This is the exhaust here on the side. I also want to point out the wheels. Yeah, yeah? please do. Yeah. Because you have these polished wheels mm -hmm. and then it has to be always flush in one direction. You know, like on all, all these wheels, they have always like right. uh, uh, one surface. But right. here you have a three dimensional surface and this is all by milling. So we can, we, we take a wheel and it's so expensive mm. because you mill every spoke. All right, here's yeah. the most important question. Yeah. When can I buy one? Um, yeah, when you have enough money. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so hang yeah, on a minute, yeah. hang on a minute. So this is concept at the moment. Is this something that could actually come to market like this? I mean, if we have some uh, buyers, you know, if you find, why not? I really? Mean, I mean, this is, I mean, what is the most exclusive thing is like coach build. Yeah? yeah. Why not? I mean, we we want to bring our dreams on the road. See, this is the thing, you guys concept cars we all go oh my god it looks amazing love this design love this feature and then when the car and the next car comes to market it looks nothing like the concept and sometimes we get frustrated because it's like the concept looks so cool but it doesn't ever like come to real life but what you're saying is this car right in front of us could actually be built in of exactly course. the same way of course Right, if you want to buy it, put it, exactly. put your comments down underneath this video. Let's get a community together and make this happen. We could do it. Yeah, of course. I'm just waiting I'm for excited, you to man. come with some customers. Okay. <laughs> I've got to bring the customers. Okay, I'm your first one, all right? You got one already signed okay. up. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Please like the video. Subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family. Massive thank you to BMW for bringing me here to look at their incredible concept car and all of the other cars we got to see in there. Massive thank you to you, Domagoy. Thank you so much for being here with us and speaking to the Supercar Blondie family. All right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I think we're out. Love you. Bye. Thank you.